today we're at Indiana PA Auto Sport and uh, we're going to present the 1970 Mustang Super Cobra Jet Drag Pack car. All documented, everything correct, correct, correct in every way and all the paperwork to go with it. We're going to go around the car and show you everything we can on it. Um, obviously it's 1970, it does have a shaker hood on it. Um, it's one of one from what we can tell from the Marty report with the uh, like a bronze colored interior and this is some sort of a fawn gold. I don't know what the actual name of the color is but it's a gorgeous color. It's not a gold but it's not a tan either. It's something in between. Grill is absolutely flawless. Bumper fitment, front spoiler, no scrapes or anything on it. Parking lights, headlights, everything on this car is just the way it should be. You can see the alignment of the uh, hood area, both sides, the way it lines up with the front uh, <coughs> headlight buckets. Of course, the uh, semi-flat black uh, striping on the hood, Cobra Jet designation on the side, the way it was. It does have the hood pin locks on it, which we're going to show you when we open the hood. Um, going down the side of the car, the driver's side, obviously. Side marker light, absolutely perfect. And this car is all original tin. You have to see the undercarriage of this car. Alex is going to show you a bunch of high resolution photography and you'll be able to zero in on every little aspect of the undercarriage so that you know exactly what you're buying. This is not a cheap car <clears throat> and it is a correct car. Very rare, rare find to have something like this. Correct wiper arms and blades on it. No marks on the windshield, no indication of uh, the wipers ever being used. Trim around the window is just that little ding here. Maybe a stone hit that somewhere through its lifespan. But uh, other than that, perfect. See the gap on the front of the door, matches the gap on the rear of the door. Your paneling along the bottom all lines up just like it should. Mach 1 designation on the bottom of the uh, uh, left front fender. BFG radials, all four corners, obviously, and it has the uh, Magnum 500 Kelsey Hayes wheels on it with the uh, Mustang in the center just the way it uh, was released. It does have the open wing uh, windows on it. I'm just going to open this door real quick and show you. Usually we kind of wait till the other side, but I'm going to show you how how correct this car is in every way. There's uh, your designation for all your options and serial number there, serial number on the dash. The um, seats are the original interior and carpeting and everything in this car from what we can see. It does have a tilt steering wheel, has an eight track player, complete instrumentation, including a tachometer in this guy. has a throw down rear seat in it and it's uh, original interior in it also just a real nice uh, clean interior you can see it's all original carpeting has a little tiny bit of fade to it but certainly nothing that would uh, uh, constitute a, a replacement of anything on it it's just a real nicely done <clears throat> very original car no cracks in the steering wheel uh, it does have power disc in the front. It's an automatic as opposed to a four speed. And like I said, it is a super drag pack car. Slats on the back, which were an option. You're going to see we have the window sticker. We have all the documentation for this car. Trim around the back window, absolutely flawless. You can check the deck lid. Everything matches back there. You'll see it better from behind. Um, quarter panels, nice and sharp edges on them the whole way around. No indication of anything ever being replaced or repaired on this vehicle. Rear wing. Uh, you go around the back part of the car and uh, back bumper, the tailpipes, everything on this car is just the way it was in 1970. There's no patina whatsoever around your uh, uh, tail light assemblies or the gas cap or anything on the back of the car. We'll open this back up and show you a quick. <clears throat> original Firestone wide oval spare that belongs in the car. Um, the original sound deadener that was put in there by Ford. You can see there's the original uh, gas tank, floor pans. None of this stuff has been uh, perforated or uh, 
replaced in any way. Not that we can see anyway. Uh, everything on the car is just completely revamped and redone and freshened up. All your new, all rubbers are new in it. Uh, everything lines up as it should. Again, you can see around the rear deck, everything lines up perfectly. Look at the edges. Look at everything, the way it lines up. Everything is just precise on the vehicle. Side marker lamps are real nice. A couple little tiny patina marks right there. One there and one there. I'm really being picky here. The um, pin on the fender is the same way. Even the tabs on the quarter panels, the way they were from the factory, are still evident. Trim around the windows. The roof looks, again, like a like a pond. It's just, it's just as glass smooth as could possibly be. And again, look how everything lines up on this and how the doors close. Window alignment. No marks on the glass anywhere. Uh, I'm going to deviate a little bit here. I just want to show you a few things here. Uh, there's the undercarriage, which Alex is going to show you some real high resolution photography of it. There's a where are we at here? Window sticker. There's a copy of the window sticker. Of course, we have the original one too. There's a Quaker State card showing the uh, oil change way back when. There's a uh, Marty report showing you everything on the car. There's the build sheet for the car. Uh, there's another. This is the um, sticker that came with the car to the dealer showing what the uh, options were on the car the way they were ordered. Here's the original bill of sale for the car when it was sold new. Again, the floor pans, uh, red oxide the way they should have been. And uh, again, Alex is going to show you a lot more defined photography of the undercarriage of this car. And it really warrants taking a look at. But look at the door panels, the carpeting, the dashboard. Everything in this car is just as fresh and clean and nice and original. Again, these seats aren't redone. They're not redyed. They're not reupholstered. Same as the door panels. They're just brand new. They're just the way they were when they left the factory in 1970. Uh, correct, uh, needs to turn, but correct teardrop uh, antenna that belongs on the car. Trim around the window on this side. Of course, it does have dual uh, sport mirrors on it, uh, the way it uh, was released by Ford in the Mach 1 series. Again, the gaps on the uh, door on this side are the same as they were on the driver's side. Absolutely flawless. There's absolutely no uh, deviation from uh, top to bottom on them. They look like about an eighth of an inch gap the whole way. Front fender hood alignment, and you can see a better shot of the hood here the way it lines up. Kelsey wheels are absolutely perfect on it. White leather tires. Uh, we're back where we started again. It's a Phenomenal car, <clears throat> but here's the magic here. Four twenty eight Super Cobra Jet Drag Pack. There's your oil cooler. Mach one, and you can see it has the original paint on the inside of the uh, fender wells yet. Your inner skirts, aprons. This was not available as a option on a drag pack car, air conditioning. So it was dealer installed at some point, apparently whenever the car was new from what we can tell. Uh, it has the correct valve pan covers on it. It has a new master cylinder on it. Uh, it has the correct uh, uh, 735 Holley carburetor on it. Still has the original air pump and equipment on it. It uh, has power steering. Power disc brakes, the correct original radiator that came with the car. And again, you can see the drag pack, all this uh, equipment that came with the uh, oil cooler and the drag pack system on it. And the drag pack cars, of course, were Super Cobra Jets, all of them, which came with the Le Mans rods in it. It's a completely different motor than a standard 428 Cobra Jet. This guy made some serious horsepower. This one does have, I, it's either 391s or it's 430s, I'm not really sure. At any rate, you can't keep the tires from spinning whenever you pull out. I mean, you just touch the gas and things happen. It's a fantastic car. Uh, you can see the car is correct in everywhere. It's all numbers correct on the car. Um, there's no body perforation on it anywhere. What is this guy down? Come on. All 
Okay. Something ain't right. We'll figure it out later. But um, rare find. It's a very rare car to begin with. They just didn't make that many of them. According to the Marty report, this is number one of one in this color combination. And uh, everything is correct on it. There's no way that you can uh, dispute the validity of the vehicle that we're presenting to you at this point. It's available here in uh, Indiana, Pennsylvania. It's not an inexpensive car, but it's not an easy car to find and to duplicate, especially in this overall condition. Phenomenal driving car. I used the car, drove it for a while. There's absolutely no negatives on this guy, other than you better buy some extra rear tires for it because they don't last very long, I'm sure. It's a great car, 428 Cobra Jet. Ready?
not trying to squeal the tires on this thing. It's just it's something that it's almost impossible not to do. It just... This thing, it does have a uh, locker in it, a Detroit locker. So you're going to notice whenever you turn a steering wheel that both tires in the rear are hooked up equally. So when you go to turn, if you want to run a tight turn, you're going to feel the one skip a little bit. There's nothing wrong with the rear differential. That's what a Detroit locker did. It was made to go in a straight line and lock everything up solid. Whenever you drop a hammer on it, you get two equal white marks. This thing runs and drives like a brand new car. There's no shakes or squeaks or um, rattles, nothing. There's not anything. I love this rim of wheel. I have to use that a lot. Yeah, this is a nice car. Anybody that buys this car is going to get themselves a, a, a very rare find. There's just not that many of these that were produced, and let alone in this color combination, which I happen to really like. I mean, I'm usually a red, black, and white guy, but this is this is a very attractive car in this color. And just the overall condition of this thing and the way it's been taken care of through the years, I mean, it just shows you, you know, somebody loved this guy for a long time. Nice car. And it is available in Indiana, PA. And uh, again, anything you want to see in addition to the uh, uh, video and the uh, uh, still photography that uh, Alex puts up on the uh, website, just call and we can give you any additional photographs or any additional information.